hello welcome hey guys so today I'm showing you how to achieve these beach waves so if you guys would like to see how I got my hair to look like this then keep on watching yeah oh, sorry for the background I am painting some dogs if you guys want a dog portrait let me know and I got the hookup so I've washed my hair I've put in my products I brush it through my hair and I brush it one time I don't keep going in and brushing it just that one time through to let the product kind of soak in and then I let it air dry. The back of my head is still pretty damp. Back of your head is ridiculous. So like the front is pretty much dry, which is okay because it's still gonna like get some of that wave when we French braid it back. But the back I would say is probably like 70% dry. It's 11.23 in the morning. so. This is also something you can do the night before and then take your braid out and then I'll show you how to touch it up. All you need is an elastic and if your hair is shorter, two French braids, I just like to do one big one in the back. That way when I take my hair out I get those like bigger luscious waves versus tiny little kinks. So if you don't know how to French braid, there's a lot of tutorials out there. I'm not a good teacher at it, I just kind of do it. I don't like to start right up at the top. If you take these tiny pieces and start, they're gonna be closer together, which means the wave is gonna be a little bit tighter and more like of a kinky wave versus a beach wave. We're getting real kinky today, okay? So I just kinda like to take, start from like the crown. Is that the crown? Did I say the right word? <laughs> so kinda like if you were to put your hair up in a little half up, half down. This is kinda what I start with. Again, it does not have to be perfect. If you're gonna be running out and about like I am today, like you don't want it to be a hot mess express, but if it's uneven or messy, it's okay. I don't like to bring the braid all the way down to the ends of my hair. The reason being, again, if you were to start, same thing if you were to start really close to the top, if you bring it down, it's gonna get tighter of a braid, and if you're going for that, that's fine, but since we've done a bigger French braid back, back here, when you let out this hair and you've braided it all the way down, you're gonna have these nice big waves and then it's gonna get smaller and smaller as it goes, which it's not that cute. So I just like to stop right here because we can kind of curve that with heat. So basically just the smaller sections that you take when you do it, the smaller and tighter that wave is gonna be. I don't want a super tight wave, so I'm gonna let it air dry overnight and then I will see you guys in the morning Good morning! Oh, I have slept on my hair, let it air dry all day yesterday. This is what it looks like. Sass a brass. So if you guys have experience with curling your hair with a flat iron, this will probably be a little bit easier for you to do. If you don't, don't worry. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Since we kept that braid pretty large and in charge. We're gonna have some really nice waves. Looks like we got some good wave going on in the back of our head. And I mean, if you wanted to leave it just like that, go for it. That's, I mean, easy, no heat hairstyle. I just like to kind of have these pieces touched up and I guess I don't have to do too much. Just like a couple more volume up in here is where I'm gonna want it. Um, this is just a Bellamy one. Any flat iron will do. Just take your flat iron. I have it set at about 360. I don't want to go any higher than that for my hair, and this still could be too high for my hair, but I don't want to damage my color or fade any things that I have going on. I'm going to pin up about just this top layer because I want to get some more volume throughout here, like around my ears. Oh, like this one's looking a little flat right in here and so is this one so we're gonna start with this one right by our ear and what you're gonna do you're gonna start taking it I alternate which way I take it so for this one I'm gonna start it away from my hair and move it back and forth that way a couple other pieces you might want to start it forward and move it the other way just because if you're looking for that more natural beach wave, nobody's natural waves or curls all go the same direction. So that's kind of how you get that different texture, a little bit more volume. La-di-la-di-da. 
you can keep your flat iron horizontal and kind of crimp it that way. What I found works the best for me is if I hold it at a slight angle and crimp it that way because that way you get a little bit of that curl going on but it's still a wave. Does that make sense? So for this one, you can kind of see where it's naturally going. So we're gonna start like this, almost like you're about to do a full curl and then you're gonna flip it. And there you have it. And if you get a little crease mark, just go right over it. I like having the pieces around my face going away from my face. Um, in theory, it could make your face look thinner. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. These front pieces kind of depends. I'll kind of split them up and just do like a light. I won't take it up as far because I kind of want them to hang and frame and you know, just chill out, man. Out and in, twist it on around town. So again, let's pick up some of these suckers I got. There, that's all she wrote, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed that hair tutorial. And I am nowhere near close to a hairstylist. I just feel like I do a pretty decent job styling my own hair and I like to show people some little tips and tricks that they may have not known before. If you knew that before already, good for you. Your hair probably looks phenomenal. If you didn't, try it out. Let me know how you like it. And uh, well, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to be nice to people because it's not that hard. Bye.